Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a VPN on Windows. And I'm going to be doing it with three of the top VPNs currently available, in my opinion, ExpressVPN, NordVPN and Surfshark. But even if you're using a VPN that isn't one of these three, then the steps should still pretty much be the same. And if you do want to find out more about one of these three VPNs, I'll talk about them a little bit more at the end of the video. And there's going to be more useful links and information in the description below. So starting with ExpressVPN, the first thing you want to do is go to the website, click that ExpressVPN, pick a plan, make an account and actually get a subscription. Once you do that, you can go to your dashboard over here, your homepage, and it's gonna say set up your devices. It's gonna give you a bunch of different options for different devices you can install ExpressVPN on, and you wanna click Windows. That'll take you to this page here, and you have two things. You have on the left side, your VPN activation code, which we're gonna need a little bit later. And on the right side, you have the option to actually download the application for Windows. And you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and click download. That'll actually download the application on your computer. Once that's finished, you wanna open it up. I'm gonna pause this because I already have it installed. And once you do open it up, it's going to start the installation process. You're gonna start installing the actual application. It's gonna ask you a few questions just to get things set up the right way the first time that you're opening it up. And one of the things it's gonna ask you for is that activation code. So that's why you don't wanna go off this page just yet. You wanna keep this page up and copy and then paste this activation code into the VPN when it asks you for it. And that's pretty much it. After that, ExpressVPN will be set up and you'll be good to go on your PC. Now for NordVPN and Surfshark, it's pretty much the same setup process for both of these. So again, you want to go to their website, nordvpn.com or surfshark.com and make an account and get a subscription. Once you do that, you go into your homepage. So here's NordVPN's homepage. And on the left side, it says downloads, and it's going to give you the option to download the app for all the different platforms. And right there at the top, you have download app. You can click on that and it will start the download for the NordVPN application. And then for Surfshark, it's gonna be pretty much the same thing. You go over here to your account overview on the left side, download apps, click on that. And you're gonna see right here, get the desktop app for Windows. And this is for Windows 10 and up. If you have an older version of Windows, you can go on the bottom where it says all applications, go to desktops and laptops, and then you click view where it says Windows, and then it's gonna say legacy app for old Windows versions. If you click on that, you'll be able to download Surfshark on Windows computers that are still running as far back as Windows 7. Of course, on these older versions, you won't get the latest updates. So if you wanna get the best experience possible when you're using Surfshark or really any VPN, try to get it on the latest and most updated platform that you can. Now with both of these VPNs here, Surfshark and NordVPN, instead of an activation code, like we had with ExpressVPN, for pretty much any VPN, when you sign up, you're gonna make an account with a username and password. And with NordVPN and Surfshark, instead of that activation code, you're just going to sign in with your username and password. You'll also have a bunch of questions about setting it up the first time. And then once you do that with NordVPN, this is what the homepage is gonna look like. It's pretty much a dashboard of all the different features that NordVPN has. There's a lot going on. Threat Protection Pro, that's like a mini antivirus file sharing. On the left side, you have a small version of the VPN. If you wanna see the full VPN, it's the first option right there. VPN, really the second one after the homepage. And then you'll have the map interface as well. With Surfshark, the main page is gonna look like this. You have your locations and the search bar on the left side, and then you have information about your current connection on the right side. So that's all you need to know in order to be able to set up basically any VPN. It'll either be by signing in with your username or password, like it is with Surfshark and NordVPN, or with some sort of activation code like with ExpressVPN. Now, if you're wondering why I pick these three VPNs specifically, it's because I do feel that these are the best three VPNs out there. ExpressVPN is simple, easy to use, but at the same time, it's very fast. You get 105 countries to pick from, and it has a top-notch level of security. NordVPN is basically unmatched in terms of the features that it offers and the level of flexibility and customization that you get with this VPN. On top of that, it has a mini antivirus here, Threat Protection Pro, secure file transfer, secure remote desktop, and a dark web monitor that checks if you had any data leaks over the internet. And Surfshark is the best budget VPN with a cheap price, but at the same time, a nice amount of features, not as much as NordVPN, but it does have more than ExpressVPN. And at the same time, you're getting a hundred countries to choose from, the WireGuard protocol, which means very fast speeds, and just all around a very solid VPN for the price that you're paying. 
And if you do want to try out any of these, there will be discount links in the description that will save you some extra money, as well as full reviews that will tell you everything you need to know about getting started with one of these VPNs right here. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope this helped you out. Let me know in the comments below which VPN you decide to go with. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one.